Hello, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I am. So here it is. And I just hope it doesn't get taken down because I'm presenting this to you in a very open way, leaving it up to you how you interpret it. And I am not going to say that much about it, only what it represents in a wider artistic sense. So this is my latest illustration and it is called Which Way? Which you will probably be able to understand why. <sighs> I'm taking a deep breath. I have said before that my art is not pretty and it's more real. It's more concerned with saying something and being realistic than it is with being decorative, which is probably why it has not been so successful. But it is what it is and that's what I do. And also what I do is wobble the camera about, even though I've tried to find a place where it will be nice and stable every time I move my hands or go a little hee, -hee whatever it jolts about. Sorry about that. I, you know, oh, and now I've fallen off the kitchen blooming cabinet. So this is all good, isn't it? Let's keep it very real poppy, shall we? <clears throat> yes, let's get back to the matter in hand and hope I don't fall off the cabinet again. I think that art should make a gentle statement. It doesn't have to be in your face, but it should provoke some sort of response. It doesn't have to be um, a response that is, is very dramatic, but it should, you know, even if it's a subtle, more emotional response, it should provoke something in you. It shouldn't just leave you completely cold. I suppose that's a response in itself, isn't it? But that's really not what my intention is. It should make you feel something I think and it's like it's like a window and it's also like a mirror so it's kind of an observation by me the creator or whoever the creator is but it's also an invitation to you the viewer the person that is interacting with the piece um, it's an opportunity for you or an invitation to read what you want into it I suppose, um, to get what you want out of it. I can't really, you know, I've spent videos where I've explained things far too much and I think I should just present something, perhaps tell you why I've done it. And I think this is obvious why I've done it. So I don't really need to, and it's contentious in that way. So I shall leave this one. Um, and I don't want to be prescriptive. I don't really do not want to tell you what to think, but I hope that it does make you think. I think art should make you think or stimulate something, some thought, some feeling, even if it's just revulsion or whatever. Um, also, I think that I like my art to help people experience empathy and connection. Falling off the counter, that's not what I want to, you to experience. Um, yes, so that's also what I wanted to do with my writing. I wanted to, to help people, to encourage people to experience that connection, to walk in other creatures, other people's shoes, to see the world through different eyes, and to, to have that empathetic connection, like fiction writers do. You put yourself in the place of either the, the creator or of their subject matter, and you become that. It, it absorbs you for a time. If it's good, it will absorb you, and it will make you feel things or see things in a different way. Sorry, I am sliding off this counter no matter what I do. I have to work out a better way of presenting my artwork. This, I'm sorry, is not it, but we will keep trying, won't we? Yes, we will, Poppy. Anyway, the, this is, I suppose, social commentary of what's happening right now. is a snapshot to me of what is happening right now in my world and in your world too, but I'd rather let the work speak to you in its own way. So I will not expand further. I'm going to take you closer up to it, but I'm not going to give you any more of what I think. That doesn't really matter. What does it make you think? How does it make you feel? You might be really angry with me. You might think, hmm, okay, I'm seeing this slightly differently, whatever. It might, it, it might, let's hope it stimulates something, whatever that might be. All I can do is put it out there and see what happens. Or not, because unfortunately I can't get comments. So because of the things I've explained before about my physical problems responding to the comments. <sighs> oh, now that was just terrible and unforgivable. I do apologise. I'm going to move a bit closer now. There we go. Um, in doing this, I wanted to remember an artist called David Dees, uh, who was a contentious figure and did some very, very 
thought-provoking work but unfortunately I found out that he died um, earlier this year of cancer which is a great loss because I was hoping to see what sort of commentary he would be putting out these days in these challenging times that we find ourselves in. <sighs> right, I have said enough. I did not want to say a terrible, a great, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to say much about this, as you know. I don't want to put anything on YouTube that's going to be in any way seen as something that is going to have my channel or my videos taken down. So shut up and let's have a closer look at this. Now I'm hoping that because I've propped it up rather than having it flat we're going to get a better view of the vibrancy of the colours. We have a J up there and a starling and a hare and a deer and somebody welcoming us into a green world between the pillars of two birches. Now this whole area and indeed the figure himself are known to me and have come from photographic reference of my own. I know these two birch pillars very well and they're very beautiful. And just below them you will see the fox and to the left a pheasant and there is also a tortoiseshell butterfly. And they are all in the centre of the frame between the two pillars or coming into the two pillars where we see this beautiful scene of the woodland. I'm really happy with the birch. I don't re don't think you'll remember because I think only four people have watched the video. One of those was probably my dear friend Sue, bless her. Um, yes, I did a video explaining how I could I messed up painting birch trees in one of one of my uh, uh, I don't know it's probably earlier this year anyway. But I think I seem to have got the hang of it now in this more illustrative form, which is good. Anyway, if we move to the either side of the birch pillars, we have things that will look very familiar to you, which I am not going to say anything about at all, because they are completely self-explanatory and you can read into them whatever you choose to. And again to the right. not sure how this is going to take in terms of what you're going to be able to see whether this is helping you be able to see it clearly I do hope so because putting that work flat just was not working in terms of you being able to see I work and work and work on these things as much as I possibly can physical body allowing and then I show them to you and they look all faded out and it's just very sad anyway so I'm hoping this way is going to give you a more, let's see if we come back to there, should be able to get it all in there. I think that's the, it's right on the edge of the kitchen counter is where I think you'll get it all in, which is why I kept falling off the edge of it earlier. Oh dear. Right. So we've seen it that way. Now I'm going to try and put it flat and see if that helps at all, but I think that really gives you a much better idea of the colours. I think as soon as I put it flat, you'll um, maybe see that bleached out thing. I don't know, when I upload this, I might find that the whole thing's been bleached out, mightn't I? So what I see and what you see end up being two completely different things, which is such a shame. If I come up there. get a bit of detail you can always find or mostly not always I've started to upload pictures to Twitter not something that I use but it does give me an opportunity to show you the finished piece without it being bleached out so you can see a decent copy of it so I will normally put it on there my Twitter thing is at Palin Poppy as I say, I don't use it because I can't really use it. I just use it for this purpose. Because I haven't got a website. And don't know when I'll ever get one again. So, yes, that's it, really. I'm hoping to do one more piece in this kind of vein. I don't know whether there'll be more. Let's see, go back over here again. I don't know whether there'll be more of them but I'm ha hoping to do another one which will be called the scapegoat 
which will be inspired by William Holman Hunt's fantastic painting, one of my very favourites, which I was fortunate enough to get to see again recently. Um, but it, it's inspired by that kind of concept of the scapegoat. Anyway, I think I've shown you enough. I hope I have. Very pleased with this one. Don't know what will ever happen to it or what use it is. If you think you could find a use for it, please um, go to the Twitter thing, which you don't have to be signed in for. You can go there. You can save the image and you can share it. Or if you're on Twitter, you can share it. Or you can share my other image of the Solstice Saviour, which is also on there too. Right, let's hope this works. If it doesn't, I shall be coming back again. And you'll probably never see this one. There you go. Anyway, I hope to do another video before uh, the solstice, midwinter. But if I don't, I should be back shortly afterwards. I should be doing another, another everyday enchantment deck uh, card run, uh, working, run through, reading. They're not proper readings, but me working with my everyday enchant. There it is. Hello. Oh, there we go. Yes. I should be working with that in, a, in the next video as well, and I shall also probably be working on the picture of the scapegoat, although that is not even started yet. So I shall leave you with which way. I hope you liked it, or appreciated it, or hated it even. <laughs> something. So I got something from it. Maybe a thought or two. Who knows? A thought is not a bad thing, is it? Lots of love. Stay free. And for all our relations, take care. Bye.